calm day. Next thing you know, there were like 90 mile an hour winds. The flag was like just bouncing on the pole, and I didn't even realize I'd started videoing the white caps in the water. I mean, it came in no time. And uh, there was a pleasure boat coming up, and he was just having a real hard time. I didn't see the ducks. I saw people in the water about two minutes later. I thought it was that pleasure boat. But then I heard about that. Just a bunch of, of visitors just jumped to it, came down there. There were a couple of really brave guys. <laughs> Amazing. People jumped off of the Branson Bell to get to the people on the boat. There was a policeman that did. But these guys were coming from shore up, those ducks, the conduit ducks, trying to get out there to pull these people out of the water. And they were crawling back with a young man and I picked him off of there, brought him up until the warmth. And his family was still down there. So it was a, it was something that should never happen. I don't know. It's something that changes you, doesn't it? It just tells you how short life is and how much you should appreciate every second. You were saying earlier that you were on the bell and that the bell said they were not going out uh, because it was too, because the weather and all that. We were on the bell and, and it was a beautiful day and we went up to the wheelhouse where the captain was and about an hour into the ride and he said, there's a big storm brewing so we're just gonna stay close. And uh, we, docked, we docked in beautiful weather. By the time we walked up to the gift shop, they said it was five, 10 minutes and the doors started blowing open and everything, branches coming out of trees and it was amazing. So they docked because they didn't, you said they were going closer, but they actually stayed put on the dock, they came back. They, no, they, they just put away. anchor they, down. Yeah, they kept away. I mean,